So what is happening with the trailer industry? Earlier this week, we went out to purchase the trailer. This is what we found out. A little background, we are looking to purchase the enclosed trailer to tow and pull behind our motorhome. We have a 45 foot motorhome and we want to keep the car that has all wheel drive. And if you have an all wheel drive car, you basically have a two options of pulling it. You cannot, uh, the car has to go wheels up. It has to be either flatbed trailer or enclosed trailer. So we decided to purchase the enclosed trailer uh, to put some other additional items, maybe bikes and some boxes and, and whatnot. So we're looking for enclosed trailer. So some numbers, um, 45 foot motorhome, the most you can tow behind is a 20 foot. Because legally, right now, in just about all states, 65 feet is the length that you can be and be legal without being in the special category, oversized cargo and whatnot. So California could be a little different because, you know, it's California. Everything is different in California. But for regular people in most states, 65 feet length is the total. So 40 foot motorhome, you can tow a 24, maybe 26 foot trailer. But that's a iffy, you know, one foot or two, you might get away with. So what did we found out? One of the things we found out that for some reason, most trailers are made in Georgia, as far as the East Coast is concerned. There are some made in uh, Texas and I believe Indiana or, or, or something, but there's nothing really along the West Coast that I know of or nothing along the East, uh, East Coast. So maybe it's the labor or whatnot, but uh, there's a town in Georgia called Douglas and some surrounding villages that are basically capital, U.S. capital of trailer production. So we set out to Douglas, Georgia to buy a trailer. We live about 500 miles from, from, from Douglas, Georgia, so we thought we'll take a drive and, and go pick the trailer. It should be, um, should be easy, easy thing to do. Uh, I had uh, did a little research and concluded that we are heading to the factory to buy a trailer. Well, uh, it didn't take us very long to realize that you can't purchase the trailer at the factory. It is sort of like you going to Detroit and to Ford Auto Plant and expect to buy a 150 and, and drive home with it. Uh, it doesn't work like that. So um, below, I'll, I'll, I'll list a couple of factories we went to and we discovered that we can't actually buy it directly from a factory. We have to go through a dealer. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation online. Uh, I'll post the names of the trailer companies and dealers that we went to, but we never found. So this may save you some time or money or, or frustration because, uh, like I said, we found out that this is one of those areas that you don't know what you don't know. The lesson learned in the factory was that, yeah, you might drive by and even drive through the gate and you find yourself inside the lot and you're looking at the hundreds of trailers and you're thinking, wow, it's a pretty good inventory. But uh, those trailers are basically waiting to be picked up, towed and, and hauled someplace that already been paid for. Visiting the dealers, we kind of found out the same thing. Even the dealers that had the trailers on the lot, and not that many, maybe dozen or even two dozen trailers, they were all spoken for. They were already paid for, there were customers waiting for delivery or customers for pickup. So, so what did we learn? We learned that the trailer and inventory is very low. Production is running behind. There is a shortage of material, especially aluminum, the, the outside skirt the, that goes around the trailer. Uh, we also learned that the prices have gone up. We learned that you can really buy it in person at the factory at, at the, in Georgia. So get online, do the research, find a couple of companies that rank high and you order your trailer online. You're going to be putting about 10% down and expect a delivery anywhere from four to 20 weeks or more. So if this, uh, if this helped you in any way, saved you, save you some money or time, Give us a, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. We'll be uh, filling the application shortly and putting the deposit down for our trailer 
and I will record another video about that process, the company that we that we selected, and how document how that whole process go. Thanks for watching.